everybody, my name is Julia and I'm going to share with you a little bit of my college story and how I got to where I am today. Um, so I first started off at Lansing Community College. I picked this to be my post-secondary education at first because to be honest, it's the, it's the cheapest tuition in the state and um, I didn't really know what I wanted to do when I first graduated high school. So this um, was a good way for me to figure out where I wanted to go in life and my career path and not spend a bunch of ton, a ton of money at a big university um, when I really hadn't picked a major or didn't really know what I wanted to do yet. So, um, and I'm so thankful and grateful that I did choose this option because it ended up saving me a lot of money in the long run. Um, because LCC offered a three plus one program through Siena Heights University at the University Center. So I ended up doing three years at LCC and then one year at the University Center. And I did change my major a lot. So um, I think I went in thinking that I wanted to be a teacher. So I was taking a lot of like elementary education classes and then I switched up to counseling and then I switched it again to early childhood education. So I was really um, just taking classes and trying to find out what I liked, what I was passionate about, where my areas of interest were and um, deciding what major to go with. So yes, I changed my major a lot. I think that's very common for 18 year olds. Like who knows? Who is supposed to, who knows their whole life at 18 like it's it's hard and um so if you are in that boat I would encourage you to explore and figure out what you like and figure out what you don't like um just by taking different types of classes so yes I ended up um majoring uh, in my undergraduate with the degree was in Bachelor's of Arts in Community Services with a Specialty in Families and Children. So that is very close to like a social work degree. Um, I ended up changing my direction after undergrad to graduate school. Um, kind of the reasoning behind that was it was very heavy. Social work is a field that I think takes a very special type of person to go into. It, it takes somebody who is very passionate about helping people and wanting to help people, but able to kind of separate their life and work and be able to um, not take it home with them. And, and that's something that I couldn't really, I didn't have a very good balance with. I, I, I was taking things home with me. I was ruminating on things and I was like, I can't do this my whole life because it was making me feel a certain, my mental health was suffering. So um, I decided to go back to school. I decided to go to grad school and um, I found out that health was a passion of mine. Health and wellness was something that I was really passionate about and Wayne State University offered a program called health education. So kind of combined that aspect of like help, like helping people that I really loved in health and wellness together. And it, it's a great major for me because there's a lot of different areas you can go into. So like right now I'm working in environmental health, but you can go into mental health, which I'm also very passionate about. And, or you can do like cardiovascular um, disease or diabetes, or, you know, you can go into so many different areas like sexual health and um, it's just so broad. So you can really never get bored. I don't think in this major because you can just change your area of interest and there's always constantly ways to learn. So did I end up pursuing the career that I planned on pursuing? Um, yeah, I think that I did. Um, especially after deciding to go back to graduate school, um, I am a health educator and my degree is in health education. So I definitely did I am on the career path of what I went to school for, which is very exciting. Um, it was not an easy path. I definitely went on a lot of interviews after college and after grad school, like so many. 
Um, my advice would be to don't give up. Just keep trying. Um, failure is not uh, something that should hold you back. It's just re it's redirection, right? Rejection is redirection. So it'll redirect you into uh, where you're supposed to be in life. And that's just how I kind of looked at it every time I went to a job interview and, and didn't get it, which happened a lot. Um, so I guess that would be like one of the major setbacks that I encountered was thinking that I was going to graduate college and right away get a job. No, that is not how it happened. It took a lot of entry level positions, part time employment of just trying to get my feet wet into my career, into uh, my area of interest and get some experience because really that's what you lack when you graduate college is experience. So what would I tell my younger self? Um, I would tell myself that, my younger self, that all this hard work is going to pay off, right? It seems like so much when you're in college. I remember I was, I had two jobs and an internship and going to school. So it felt like my days were just, I would say, constantly changing costumes because I was going from my job at the YMCA to my internship at the Red Cross to my working at my dad's restaurant at night and then going to class is just like a lot a lot of hard work that I was you know working and going to school it, it made the days seem so long um but just remember it's temporary and it's not forever and that hard work definitely definitely does pay off um another thing that I would tell myself uh, is to definitely get involved. Whatever your major is, whatever your career path is, find a way to get some experience volunteering or joining like a coalition. That's something I really wish that I would have done earlier in my career because that would have just helped me so much on interviews and getting experience and networking. That would have been huge if I would have just um, joined coalitions and and um, meet like community meetings, getting involved in the community more would have helped me a lot more in, in the long run if I had done that earlier in my college career. So yeah, that is my college story. Thank you for listening.